Hello and welcome. You're watching the newsroom on TV360 Nigeria. I am Aneta Felix. The Nigerian army says its troops have killed several Boko Haram terrorists in a clash in Yobe State. Spokesman of the 27 Tax Force Brigade, Major Nurani Alimi, says scores of the insurgents were gone down after the attempted to attack a military base in Buniyadi. Alimi says some insurgents were also injured while troops recovered a cache of anti aircraft uh, ammunition, bombs, rocket propelled guns, and two gun trucks. Now in Borno State, the Nigerian military says its troops have killed five Boko Haram insurgents in a fresh clash in Baga. Army spokesman Brigadier General Sani Usman says the operations was carried out by a combined special forces troops of the Nigerian Army, Navy and the Air Force. He says the terrorists were killed after they attempted to launch a surprise attack on Nigerian troops. Presidential spokesman Garba Shehu has accused the former president Ulushagu Obasanjo of being hostile to leaders he has no control over. Shehu, who issued a statement on behalf of President Muhammad Buhari, also threatened to teach Obasanjo and his co travelers a political lesson they will never forget. He also mocked Obasanjo, advising him to seek medical advice for comparing Buhari to Abacha. An opposition politician in the Democratic Republic of Congo has called on his millions of followers to conduct a peaceful campaign of civil disobedience following the rejection of his appeal against election results by the country's highest court. Martin Fayulu says he considered himself the sole legitimate president-elect of the country and urged the Congolese people not to recognize any other individual. The DRC's constitutional court has confirmed early that Felix Shakidi, the leader of the country's main opposition party, was the winner of the polls that were held after more than two years of delays in December. The United States military has 52 Islamists who had attacked a Somali military base earlier in the day. The airstrike targeted Al-Shaba fighters who had rammed into the military base near Jilib, 370 kilometers southwest of the capital, Mogadishu, using a suicide car bomb. Al-Shaba lost control of most Somali cities and towns after the African Union and Somali troops pushed the hardline Islamists out of Mogadishu in 2011. The Israeli military said it has, it has hit a radiant target around the Syrian capital, Damascus. The Israel Defense Forces said the overnight operation targeted the elite court's forces of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards, as well as Syrian air defenses. Four people are reported to have died. Syrian media said most of the Israeli missiles has been shot down. And in sports, the Super Falcons have defeated Romania 4-1 in the China Four Nation Invitational Tournament in Waha to finish third. It was the first time in two decades that the nine-time African champions would record a win against an European opponent. Nigeria's representatives in the 2018-19 CAF Confederation Cup champ competition and Rangers have qualified for the group stage of the competition. The Flying Antelopes defeated Bantu FC of Lesotho 2-1 in the second leg of the playoffs at the Innamdi Azikiwe Stadium to advance 4-2 on aggregate. Enugu Rangers will know their group opponents on Monday when the draw is conducted in Cairo, Egypt. In the Australian Open, Fort Sid Naomi Osaka set up a quarter-final with Elena Vitolina after battling from a set down to beat Anastasija Sevastrova at the Australian Open. Osaka won 4-6, 6-3, 4-6-4 to reach the last eight for the first time in Melbourne. That's it on the newsroom. Thanks for watching.